In this video, I'm going to take a look at KISSflow. This is a workflow management tool to help automate your business processes, and it's something that you really need uh, if you're going to scale. Now, I'm not saying you really need this particular product. You'll, you'll make your own decision on that when you see my review, but you definitely need something like this, and this is a good choice for small to medium businesses. So stay tuned for the video. Hey everybody, this is David with TechSmart Boss here with another video. We got a request from one of our subscribers to take a look at KissFlow. It's a, it's a business process. They call it a workflow management software. I call it business process optimization. Um, it looks really nice. I've been checking out the website. One thing I'll make a quick note of right away from a pricing perspective, $9 a month per user, which is not bad, but minimum 10 users. So you're talking about 90 bucks a month minimum. Um, so, you know, this is not necessarily for the solopreneur or the very small business. This is more for, you know, smaller, medium sized businesses, which makes sense because this is a fully fledged workflow management system. And one of the things I talk about on the podcast all the time is that when you reach a certain size, you've got to have great business process. They've got to be repeatable. You've got to be able to track them and you, you've got to have some automation involved and that is what KissFlow is aiming to do so what we're going to do is we're going to log in not going to be able to get through probably an entire uh, beginning to end but we're going to do their onboarding and see how far we get but it looks like what I like about them is they give you 50 ready to use they call them apps I call them business processes but everything from it looks like travel reimbursement employee onboarding vacation requests uh, you name it so we're going to see what those look like you can customize your form, things you want to collect. They have a workflow, so I'm assuming that we're going to be able to have multiple people have different steps in the process of approval chains, things like that. Um, Permission-based things, what, what, what people can edit. Workflow, as I mentioned, monitor progress, and then they have a lot of reporting. So let's go ahead and take them up on their free trial offer and see how this is going to work. So I'm going to go ahead and put my TechSmart Boss email in here and sign up. Free seven-day trial, no credit card required. You know, I love that. That's the way That's the way it should be. Let people kick the tires on your software. All right, so let's do their onboarding. What do you want? How do you want us to address? Well, you can call me, you can call me David. I, I was going to put something funny there, but you can call me David. I am the, uh, I'll just call myself the chief, chief boss. What department do you work flow? So this is going to customize my experience. Let's let's say I'm in HR because that's one where you really this really helps you as you're growing. And if you're over 10, you're growing. Um, you really want to have a, a smooth HR organization. Let's go ahead and say next. So select an app to get started. So these are these processes: job offers, training, employee uh, performance, new hire request, onboarding. Let's look at the onboarding. One of the most important things that can really help your business grow fast or kill it. Um, so let's take a look at that app. Install and continue. Invite your friends to test. It's optional. No, not right now. Let's launch Kiss Flow. So that was a nice onboarding. It's gonna it looks like it's gonna pre-populate one of their apps and get me something in their dashboard here to look at right away not just give me a blank slate um, it's churning along here configuring so I've got some feedback on all the hamsters they have in the background spinning on their wheels right now so let's give this a another second to come back Okay, I'm back. Now that took a little bit longer than you saw. I snipped out some time in the uh, video. And while I was doing that, I went ahead and clicked on the email they sent me to confirm my user. So I'm back and looks like I've got support bot over here talking to me. I'm going to go ahead and minimize that for a second. You'll see here I've got employee onboarding, which was added. But let's click around. Let's see what's going on. Let's click on employee onboarding and see what I can see when I click on that so employee on so this is the actual form ready to go I haven't done any customization this is out of the box and you can see here that it's asking me for name 
designation, their reporting manager, which only have myself in the system yet, their department. I haven't set anything up in the system yet, but it looks like this is just a form that someone would fill out. Now I'm assuming there's going to be some work flow behind the scenes. Let's customize that app and see if that takes me into, yeah. So here we've got the form that we can edit and design. So for example, employee designation could be something that I can change the field type. Very simple to do. Set if it's required or not. Even delete it if I wanted to delete it. Let's go ahead and delete that. So pretty simple stuff. Uh, I could add new fields. Looks like after I had completed that step, it was going to take me to a next section where I put in all the employee details. So this is pretty easy, and, and, and as you can see here, drag and drop, if I wanted to, looks like they've got some e-signature capabilities. Let's just drag a signature over here. Yeah, so it's really just that easy to design your forms. That's a really, that's a really nice form builder. Let's go ahead and go next and look at the workflow. So again, it looks like any user can start this app. Assigned to the initiator to update the employee information. Then they got assignments to the reporting manager. And then the reporting manager looks like they can do some asset allocation, ordering a uh, phone or computer or things like that. And it comes down to HR review. Let's go ahead and click on adding a new item here and see what kind of options we can do. So we can add approval task. We can add parallel branches. Very nice input uh, at an input task at a go to and let's see what other actions we got here I can send an email start a new ISO pretty robust workflow lots of stuff here let me go ahead and minimize the bot here a little bit more let's go ahead and add a um, an input task get some data who can provide input so again I only have myself in here now Let's show some advanced assignments. Ah, okay, so I have some variables. Let's say I want the manager to put in some input. And, and I can uh, set some deadlines and do all sorts of stuff here. So, yeah, you know, I'm not going to be an expert at this at this point, but I do like the parallel branches, the ease of adding in tasks and sending actions and doing things like that. So, and I like this webhook. You could do a lot with that. You, you could integrate that with Zapier and you could start to do some things there. Let's look at change permissions. Pretty straightforward there. I can make things edible or read only or hidden. And of course I can then make the change. I'm not gonna publish this because I don't want those changes to be made, but that seems to be the concept. Now let's take a look through some of the other things here. Uh, on the dashboard stuff, I can quickly see let's let's go home approvals things waiting on me to provide input so this looks like a good dashboard where any user involved in your workflow can come and see their activities um, what's in progress who's participating what's approved what's rejected what's been withdrawn so that's all pretty straightforward this should be a list of all those pre-built apps and of course you can make your own apps is a little bit of a cheeky term I think I mean you know let's just keep it simple call them processes that's what they are let's take a look at uh, you know employee resignation another one that often you don't do things right and you find yourself having subscriptions to software that you no longer need because someone is gone and you didn't um, cancel their access to maybe G Suite as an example uh, or something like that so a lot of good processes here even sales processes newsletter marketing processes uh, buying assets so you can see the kind of the list on that side let's go back reports we don't have anything to report on at this point but looks like there would be some reports let's look under the admin covers and see what we can set up here um, so you look like you can sync your Google Apps account, your G Suite account, make groups, departments, set up locations. Under my account settings, just basic stuff here. Uh, oh, this is nice. Service level agreement. So if you're going to put times on people, 
you can say when they're working, when the clock should be ticking and when it shouldn't be ticking. And I like the fact that they have a holiday calendar here. A lot of times that's missed out when you're doing your SLA. You can do some branding, get your logo, get your color scheme. That's a good thing. And then some other uh, pieces there. Let's see if I can enable, okay, I can edit my notification emails, which is great. Many products these days are giving you a bunch of hard-coded emails that you can't do anything with, and you need to be able to edit those. So it looks like they're using a uh, liquid syntax here and allowing you to put in some tokens. So that's all pretty straightforward. I like that. Now, integrations. What did they integrate with? Because they didn't. It was just an API key for now. Um, but it, doesn't, it looks like you could do your own kind of integration. But with that webhook capability, you can definitely bring it into Zapier. And you can see here I'm on a trial. Now, what is masters? That's a weird. You don't have any masters. Click here to create a master. Not quite sure what a master Looks like these could be some sort of custom fields, uh, database related. And then I've got my preferences here. So, you know, I would say, you know, based in my experience with workflow is leveraging more enterprise wide tools like, like from Computer Associates or BMC or HP. And based on what I've just cursory looked through here with their workflow and sort of their approach, this is a really great equivalent to that um, that's affordable for small to medium sized businesses. I mean, you know, one company that's making a lot of money in this space right now is ServiceNow and it's very expensive and they're going after, you know, the largest of the large business. This is bringing that kind of technology and making it approachable to a small and medium sized business. Uh, perspective and and that's nice so if you are of that size keep in mind the $90 minimum and that gives you 10 users then this is a great way to kind of automate and put some workflow behind your business process uh, hey if you like this video subscribe to our YouTube channel we're putting out a video a week uh, every Sunday we publish a new video and also check out our Facebook page where we're having fun. Just look for Tech Smart Boss and go out to TechSmartBoss.com and check out the other things we're doing. Stay tuned and watch another video.